In this video, we'll be proving the sum identities of sine alpha plus beta, so that equals sine alpha times cos beta plus cos alpha times sine beta, and also the cosine sum identity, so that's cos of alpha plus beta equals cos alpha times cos beta subtract sine alpha times sine beta. The way we're going to prove this is we're going to start off with a rectangle here like this and the angle in the in the bottom here we're going to call this alpha. The angle in here we're going to call that beta. This angle in here is the same as this angle in here. These two lines here and here are parallel because we have a rectangle. Because those lines are parallel, this angle here ends up being alpha plus beta. Also, this angle up in the top of the triangle here is 90 minus alpha. And the sum of these three angles is 180 degrees. So we have 90 minus alpha plus 90 and that leaves over an alpha up here. And lastly we're going to say that this side here is one unit long. And because we've said that that side there is one unit long and this angle here is beta that means the length of this side here is the sine of beta. And this side here, that's adjacent to the hypotenuse. The length of that side is the cosine of beta. Now we're going to look at this triangle here in a bit more detail. In high school, you would have done a bit of trigonometry, so you would have known that if you have an angle alpha there and you know the length of the hypotenuse, this opposite side here is sine alpha times the length of the hypotenuse, which is cos beta. And the length of this side here is the cosine of alpha times the length of the hypotenuse. So cos alpha times the length of the hypotenuse cos beta. So that's that bottom triangle done. Now we're going to look at this top triangle here. So its hypotenuse is sine beta and it, this angle here is alpha. So the opposite side has a length of sine alpha times the length of the hypotenuse which is sine beta. and the length of this side here is cos alpha times the length of the hypotenuse which is sine beta. And we'll, and we'll assemble that all back together again. The last triangle that we have to work out is this triangle around here. So this triangle has a hypotenuse of length 1 and it has an angle here of alpha plus beta. That means the length of the opposite side is the sine of alpha plus beta. And the length of this adjacent side to this angle here is the cosine of alpha plus beta, that angle. So now that we've labelled all the lengths for these sides, we can assemble these formulas over here. We'll start with sine alpha plus beta. So sine alpha plus beta is the length of this side here. And the length of that side of the triangle is the length of this other side of this triangle, which is cos alpha sine beta, plus the length of that side there, which is sine alpha cos beta. So sine alpha cos beta, we have that here, plus the length of this side, is cos alpha sine beta and that is equal to the length of sine alpha plus beta. The value for cos alpha plus beta here 
is equal to the length of this side here take away the length of this side here. So cos alpha plus beta equals cos alpha times cos beta which we have here subtract the length of this side so sine alpha sine beta so that's the proof for those two trigonometric identities